Good morning. Let's jump right into it. Westbound on the 401, we've got volume delays. Those problems at Morningside, they have all cleared away, so that's the good news. But let's take a look. It is moving slowly through Nielsen as you make your way towards Markham, both in the express and collector lanes. You can see all those brake lights. It is quite slow going through that stretch. On the Gardner Expressway, a bit different through there. It doesn't look as heavy eastbound on the Gardner Expressway, just some light volume from Park One all the way through to about Jameson. And here's a look at Lakeshore around uh, Parkside, not spotting any delays or problems on this route. Southbound 400 south of Finch, we now have the left lane blocked off. That's all because of a collision. Looks like it just happened. Southbound 400 is slow going from Finch to just south of it again. That's because we've got that left lane blocked off with a collision. So expect some delays to start to build as you make your way through that route this morning. Let's take a look at that forecast. Now we're going to head over to Frank. Yeah, we're going to take a look at that seven-day forecast, break it all out for you. So first off with today, what you're going to notice, a little chillier outdoors. We have wind chills right now of minus six. You're going to see some cloud cover build through the afternoon, a high of three. We're down to minus three today. We're going to be dry. Tomorrow we'll see some wet weather into the evening, but warmer at eight degrees. Morning showers on Friday, wind direction changes again, so then we drop down to minus 6 by Friday night. Clear at the skies on Saturday, a cold start to Sunday morning at minus 9, but lots of sunshine, plus 1, 2 degrees on Monday, and then 6 with overcast skies on Tuesday. Once again for today, daytime highs 3, overcast skies will build through the afternoon. That's look at your 7-day forecast. Well, whether by quarantine or self-isolation, if you have been impacted by COVID-19, the federal government set to unveil measures to help today. At 9 o'clock this morning in Ottawa, Prime Minister Trudeau expected to announce a significant support package for provinces, businesses and workers. Sources say this could include waiving that one-week waiting period for employment insurance benefits. There will also reportedly be funding for hard-hit industries and the health care system. The announcement being called the first step in a series of initiatives to be revealed as the situation develops. And with more cases in Canada, many of them travel related, people changing their plans. Our Tammy Sutherland standing by live right now at Terminal 1 at Pearson Airport this morning. And it looks fairly quiet behind you, Tammy. I don't know if it's just your shot or not, but are you seeing a change? Uh, so far, not not a big change when it comes to what typically would happen here at Terminal 1. In the departures areas, people start taking off to different destinations. The only change that you do see a lot more people, passengers and staff, wearing masks around Pearson Airport. Now, this comes on the heels of Air Canada cancelling all flights to and from Italy. That's, of course, in the wake of the COVID-19 outbreak. The last flight from Rome will be arriving in to Montreal later this afternoon and after that no flights will be going back to the country until May 1st and this comes as Italy basically shuts down their entire country to help quell the spread of COVID-19. Italy is just one of the countries that the Canadian government is warning residents to avoid any non-essential travel to. In the meantime Foreign Affairs Minister Francois Philippe Champagne says that it's time Canadians start rethinking the places that they go as well as the events that they attend. Certainly today, when we choose destination, when we look at the length of travel, where we look at the type of event, yeah, you know, we put a different screen than we were putting before uh, the spread of the virus and deciding uh, where we should go and if we should go. Now, concert goers will not be heading out Coachella and Stagecoach next month. Both music festivals have been postponed until October because of the COVID-19 outbreak. Now, coming up in just a few moments' time, we're going to be speaking with some of the travelers here, a lot of them going to parts of the U.S., including New York and Washington, D.C. That's where uh, reports of uh, several outbreaks of COVID-19 have happened. Speaking to them about what precautions they're taking as they set out on their trip. Mel, I'll send it back to you.